With Parry Pesa, you can enjoy up to 140,000 naira bonus on your first deposit and the fattest odds in the market when you register with our promo code FANSTRIBE. Okay, um, 1 0 loss. Not a good way to welcome you back, Sha, but welcome back, Olu. Not the result uh, you wanted. Ah! <laughs> Now my new pose with that one. <laughs> Bruno, who? <-hoo. laughs> Bruno, who? <-hoo>. Amechi. <laughs> no, it wasn't a, a good welcoming party. You know, I was thinking that would be after match party, mm. but just that because party was not in the party, mm. so it actually affected the team from uh, getting the party done. Mm. So, but uh, we will not say uh, Asin Villa they are not minos. They have shown it time with that normal that they are not minos. They are pushing so hard. I, I won't say they are title contenders, but you can't just. They are not just pushovers. Yeah, yeah. Deserve the win today, did they? Um, I won't say they deserve it because uh, prior to this match, after they played Man City and they won that Man City match, I was a little bit skeptical yeah. because they came from a big. They played a big match, mm -hmm. coming to play us now. So there is this moral boost. Within them, yeah. there is this belief, there is this confidence that we are no longer pushovers. Yeah. Yeah. Before even this match, check the matches they have won. They won the, the likes of Tottenham. Mm -hmm. They won. Uh, um, they won Man City. They they even won Brighton. About six goals to some. So you can see that it's a team that has been that the coach has been taking time to nurture. It it has it has it has it's a team that the coach he knew what actually wanted in the team. He introduced he bought the necessary players he needed in the team. It's not as if they have big names, but they are more of a compact team than a race of stars. Mm. Nice one. And then um, in the end, I don't know, was it a case of hard luck? Um, because many people, now too many Arsenal fans talk to, they say nah, hard luck, it wasn't, it wasn't, it didn't just go in today. It's one of those days. So many, t so many factors went wrong in today's match. We had the opportunity of winning this match. Uh, if you look at the match critically, we saw that our possession, we have, we have 71 possession to 29. We play the ball, we, we carry the ball more than the Aston Villa team. Though we know they, are, they have uh, quick, fast men at the lanes and others, so they are, their attack line is very fast. But Arsenal played the ball. But just that our theme, especially our captain, couldn't take those clear chances that came to him. There's one that was also played to this place. The, the uh, goalkeeper is already displayed. You play the ball into the hands of the goalkeeper. There's one, it was just him and just the goalkeeper. He still played the ball uh, away. So Arsenal had the chance to win this match. But I would say maybe it's something that was not meant to be. Because we played everything we could actually play today to win this match. But it didn't work out that way for us. So I won't say it's a bad match. I would say Villa deserved the win. And then um, the, the Arsenal defence on their own goal now. I don't know, Ben White, um, he had been out of the team and Tommy has to be done the perform. And then he came back in the last game and then in today's game. What do you make of his performances now against Luton and there today? Uh, ben White, uh, uh, for the Arsenal fans, we should know that for a very long time Ben White has not been in form. If you watch the uh, cohesion between Saka and uh, uh, Tomiyasu, you can see that Tomiyasu is a threat on that right-hand side. Because if Saka is with the ball, you don't even know where Tomiyasu is. Tomiyasu, before you know, he has caught him. But Ben White is not that at athleticism. He doesn't have this pace. He doesn't, he, 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 Tomiyasu can run and can return. But Ben White doesn't have these qualities within him. And Ben White doesn't have that skill, that extra factor. Tomiyasu is good on crossing the ball. Ben White doesn't have that. Tomiyasu is good. He, he understands uh, Saka very well. For the short period they played, Saka even also understood him very well. But is it a case of rustiness though? Because I don't know. Last season, it, it be the work now. Ben White be the do all these things now. I'm just saying, you know, it, no. he actually delivered assists last season where well, well. uh, And this season, even though assists Gabriel Jesus, I think it was against Luton or something. So yes. I don't know. Are you overreacting or I don't know? No, it's not as if I'm overreacting. Last season has passed. I get them before no be property. You understand? Coming to this season from the beginning of the season, Ben White hasn't been the Ben White we used to know. There was a time I was even clamoring that they should bring him back to the central defense because he doesn't add that S factor to us. I prefer playing Tomiyasu there than Ben White. We knew Tomiyasu last season he was a little bit shaky during the match of Man City and other. But later this season starts for he has played very well. He was he was able to play in the right hand side. He's also able to play on the left hand side. 
He's vice, uh, utility, a utility player, and I love him. He has pace. He, he calculates the ball very well. He understands uh, this thing. But we have two major issues at the back today, and that thing costs us the goal. Which issue? Number one, uh, Zichenko is good going forward, but coming backward is as if we are playing a one-man shot, a one-man down. If Arsenal is playing a possessive football, you see the best of Tomiyasu. But if Arsenal is under any little pressure, you see the weakness of Tomi I mean, uh, I mean uh, Zichenko. That goal that came, he was nowhere to be found. Even if you look at through the match, he was more uh, in the midfield. So that is where I will call on the coach. This guy thrived more in the midfield. Playing this kind of match, I was expecting him in the second half. If you needed to change anybody, why don't you push him totally into the midfield? And see what he can do because he now has the, to the freedom to play. Knowing full well that he doesn't have much to track back with. His own job is to do that clean car work. Look at what Zichenko played today. Just that he didn't just work out for us today. So what was the second issue now? No, look at the two balls. Before I come to that second issue, look at those two balls. Because the Arsenal wing wasn't working, he was able to give those sharp two balls. He saw the weak link between the Villa defence. He was putting that ball through, just that he didn't just click. So to me, if not for that goal that was considered by Arsenal, Zichenko did a yeoman's job. Second issue. The second issue is that the work of a defender is not to score goal. The work of a defender is not to dribble. The work of a defender is not to pass, but the work of a defender, the basic work of a defender is to defend your post. What are you talking about? Zichenko. So now him be the two issues? Yes. <laughs> the major work, okay, let me ask you something. The, the, what is the major work of a striker? Is it to, to score? To score, I agree. Score. Let's, let's Anyone, move on. Which way want to score? Score goal. So Zichenko primary uh, function in the team was to defend that ball. He was nowhere to be found. Good way forward now. Uh, Liverpool on top of the league right now and your uh, final talk. Before I come to Liverpool, Arsenal was totally robbed. The goal, right? It was a broad day robbing. Not even just the goal. We had penalty. They did not give. No, let's no. See, I'm, I'm, I'm not just saying. There's a match that Napoli played. That Vito Chime tried to pick the ball and the man kicked him yes, under here. Yes, yes. They was gave it Madrid or so the Champions they, League. There was one match like that. They gave that ball, that ball as a penalty. penalty yes. And it was not even as bad as this one. Bad as this one. Mm -hmm. So people should not just begin to come out and begin to say things. They should go and check their record books. Mm -hmm. Osime had this same opportunity and the blood foul. Mm -hmm. The level of inconsistency with uh, English Premiership ref is alarming. And you can see now it's not as if that they are not picking sides. As if they are eye neck. It's not as if they are picking sides. Look at it. There are, there, are, there are advantages that other teams will have. They will easily give it to them. They will not give it to us now. We have seen it kind of times. They will not come back and begin to apologize. So what is the use of apology when you will not call back the match? In the case of Newcastle, the ball went over. They, they gave him. After they scored. They have so many opportunities, uh, so many chances, and others so that they will come and begin to apologize. So, who, is, who cares about your apologies? You refuse to give us that penalty. They say it wasn't a penalty. Okay, what happened to the one that uh, have us scored? If you look at it critically, before even the ball touches the hand of Advers, he has already touched the hand of uh, Matthew Cash. So, are you blowing against us or you're blowing for us? So, if you're talking about penalty, we, we don't want the penalty because the first person who had that contact to the ball was Matthew Cash, not even Havas. Because the ball hit Havas here and hit the hand of Matthew Cash. Even had to hit the hand of Matthew Cash twice before even touched Havas. People should go and look at the video. And what happened? With, after scoring, you brought it back and say it was not a goal. There is a goal Saka scored. The VR did not rule line. They said it was an offside. It was a clear offside. No, no, clear offside. listen, what I'm saying, I'm not saying if it is a clear one or not, but there are instances where they will have to go and rule line, follow the protocol. There are some, this, the, even the penalty, the ref did not consult the VRO. He did not even go to check the boss. They used to go and check the boss. He didn't check anything. That was the same thing Man City complained. Man City had the same issue. So is it that there are traditional teams in Premier League where they get these favours and other people doesn't get the favour? I tried to look at the Arsenal team. If it were where Arsenal was playing one Englishman and the rest is uh, a different country, it's a different thing. Arsenal now have now bought English players. 
We had this issue during the time of Asemwinga where they said uh, Arsenal is not promoting the English football, the English brand of football. But now we have bought English players. Are they not supposed to give us this advantage? No we have a man of 105 million on the, on, in, in the field. Should they not give us this advantage? My final thought is that it's too early to begin to feed G3. And I said it earlier before, and I said, even if Arsenal is still on top of the table, I said, I'm not going to go, go gaga the way I went last season. Because I know at the end of the day, let them not just uh, spoil the party for me. But it's too early to begin to call for this thing. But before I go, the change that was made today was a wrong change. We know Martin we'll, wasn't playing that well. We'll talk the rest for life. That show. one, that one destroys this. We'll talk the rest for life. Show. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Right here, another one of our video ways to post like and all our social media links. I mean, follow us on every platform because we get content for everybody.